Talk about Team USA versus Team Spain exhibition basketball because you are a true sports junkie. If you were watching NFL preseason games over the weekend, if you were watching exhibition basketball between Team USA and Team Spain, the two best teams in the world, but it's an exhibition game. And if you're the Grizzlies, you have the best opportunity to watch not one but two Memphis Grizzlies players be represented on the world stage. Again, in exhibition form, but considering that this is the number one and number two team in the world, there is an expectation that they will face off when it really counts in the FIBA World Cup later on this month. And for Jaron Jackson Jr. and Santi Aldama to both be out there, both score, and double figures. Jaron Jackson Jr. had 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 blocks for Team USA in the win. Santi Aldama, 14 points off the bench. USA won that one 98-88. to 88. But Santi Aldama, truly one of the biggest stories in FIBA exhibition action from over the weekend because not only did he have 14 points against the U.S. yesterday, he put on a show against Slovenia. And the highlights from this dunk came from yesterday's game against Spain. But when he put up 18 earlier in the weekend, he also had seven assists, six rebounds. You know Santiago Dom is always going to find a way to do a little double clutch reverse dunk. He, he loves to show off in that way. But he showed off his continued evolution as truly a, a three-level scorer. He can create, he can shoot from anywhere on the court, and he is being used as a microwave for Team Spain coming off the bench and somebody who can just go in there and get buckets. And I think it's really inspiring and exciting for what he can continue to develop into as a member of the Memphis Grizzlies. And yes, there's still strides that need to be made on the defensive end. But when you're watching Jaron Jackson Jr. and Santi Aldama out there, you can't help but think you could see a lineup in the future of Jaron Jackson Jr. embracing the role of being a five, of being a true center, and Santi Aldama being that four position. And that duo right there could solve a lot of issues that the Grizzlies have had, especially with their half-court offense. Obviously, Steven Adams continues to be such a massive critical piece for this team. Like, I think shout out Funaki Stats, who always comes through, but the Grizzlies' net rating when Steven and Jaron played together last season was plus 13.7. Jaron and any other big was plus 8.7. So the best case scenario, based on the sample size that we have, is Jaron playing alongside Steven Adams. And did you see the clip of Mark Few talking to Jaron Jackson Jr. about Steven Adams? No. So Mark Few is one of the assistants on Team USA. The coaching staff for Team USA alone is such a cool experience for Jaron to be a part of. But he came up to him, and he was like, Jaron, you have to be the force. And Jaron quipped back and was like, I know, but I, I'm used to playing with Steven Adams. Like insinuating, I don't have to be the force because Steven Adams is always going to be the force. And Mark Few said... I know, we talked about that specifically in the coaches' meeting. And Jaron was like, you talked about that? And he was like, yes. And here, you have to be the force. And that's the whole thing for Jaron this summer, is becoming the force. Like, you can be two forces with Steven Adams. Like, he, obviously, Steven is who he is. But for Jaron to continue to increase the physicality and be that dominating presence, that's